Thanks for your help, Cat. I can take it from here. Are you sure? If things don't go according to plan, you know what to do. Hey. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Sorry about the bump on your head. I had to get your attention. What do you think you were going to do, ride in on your white horse and save the day? Rescue your damsel in distress? One question, Zach. What makes you think Kendall wants to be rescued? You know, she told me about you. About how when things get really tough, you just, you just shut down. You know what? Kendall deserves better. She deserves to be trusted and loved unconditionally. The two things that you can't possibly give her. Just like when you turned up to that boarding house and you looked through that window. You know what you saw? Two people making love. That wasn't Kendall. That was someone that looked like Kendall. And what did you do? You just, you didn't even give her the benefit of the doubt, did you? You walked away. You walked away and you gave up on your wife, the mother of your children. And you did exactly what I thought you would do. Am I boring you? Where is she? Oh, now you finally care about her? Where is Kendall? <sighs> She's not waiting for you. With bated breath, that's what you're hoping for. You turned your back on her, Zach. And she's now with me. that question. She's not going to fall for you. How do you know she hasn't fallen for me already? Zach, what you and Kendall had is now over because she has no faith in you anymore. Yeah, maybe you're right about that. Maybe she has lost faith. But she's not giving up on her kids. Don't you get that? You standing between a woman and her children. She's never going to forgive you for that. You think she's going to forgive me for this? A lot of things, but you're not stupid. You can't honestly believe that if you shoot me, Kendall will fall for you. No. Probably not. But never underestimate the power of grief and how it brings people together. I mean, you remember the last time when Kendall and me got together? I see. So you want to make this look like a suicide? That's why I'm still alive. And if Kendall needs a shoulder to cry on... She won't have to go too far. Good plan, Aiden, good plan. I only see one problem. I don't really want to die. Nobody wants to die, Zach. But it happens every day. <laughs> yeah. That's the truth. Have you thought this through? I mean, really thought this through. Say you shoot me, and let's say that Kendall does come to you to cry on your shoulder because she doesn't have anybody else. It's not going to be enough. She needs her boys, her mother, her friends. And soon, you're not going to be enough. And then what happens? The Kendall that you love so much is just going to disappear. 
is going to fade away. It's going to be an empty shell of who she was. And you, you're going to be trapped somewhere where you don't want to be. I'm not the one that's going to be trapped. Not yet. You say you care about her. I do. Okay. Then let's end this before someone gets hurt. It's too late for that. Where is my wife? Where is she? Can someone please help me? Can anyone hear me? Come on. Kendall's fine. Then bring her out here. Let me see her. I don't think so. You said if somebody else gets hurt, who got hurt? I was talking about me, all right? This time, I'm going to win, and I'm going to take it all home. Win? What are you winning? It's not about winning. I thought you were better than that. You've never thought much of me at all, Zach. That's not true. You've never gotten over the fact that Kendall and I slept with each other, even though we, we thought that you were dead. We worked through that. When? Five minutes ago? Because from what Kendall told me, and she's told me a lot, you, you've never stopped I don't want to play her. anymore. All right, I'm done. You want to punish someone? You want to hurt somebody because the world hasn't been kind to you? Go ahead. Kill me. Let Kendall go. Her boys need her. Almost as much as she needs them. I can do this. I know I can. Take care about Kendall. Think about her heart, what she's been through. Oh, just shut up, me. Like, stop talking. Too much strain. So I can be able to take to Zach, I said shut up! I can't concentrate. I'm trying to think. For her. Get your own back, get your revenge for me sleeping with Kendall. Well, go on. Do it. Pull the trigger. 